if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. One snap in, partner, and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy's setting the tone early. Running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he'll be stopped just outside the 5 at the 6. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Well, anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, the risk reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Jerry Tillery running in there and setting him down. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Touchdown, Eagles! Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles are on the board first here in Vegas. But Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. Here comes Hall. He's going to bring it out. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Now Carr, got a man open, it's Darren Waller. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down, but a nice little game. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. They'll go for it. It's Carr. He gets this to Devontae Adams. Finding space at the 40. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. Now they go into round with Adams. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. 
It's a jet sweep. This is Renfro. Room here to run. And he'll take it into the end zone for a later touchdown. Hunter Renfro, 35 yards. And the Raiders are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense, but on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. Ready, set. Play action. Here's Hertz. Wide open is Watkins. He's got it. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Quez Watkins. 47 yards and the Eagles have taken the lead and a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free and receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move and when they're on the move like that then they get to use their best asset which is usually their speed and their speed sometimes like this instance can take them into the end zone now after the touchdown here's Elliott on to kick it away here comes Hall. He's going to bring it out. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go... And he fires one that's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, mistake there by the offense, Charles. They tried to pick on a Pro Bowl corner in coverage there, and not the smartest decision. He reminded him that he was a Pro Bowl corner <laughs> with not only the pick, but the pick six. And those guys who have that designation, sometimes... They oh, and now they're going to fake it. And this is caught out the left flag. Uh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit. I liked it when they would fake it from the three-yard line, right? When you'd line up. Go ahead and, oh, there's a fake, and now he's going to get two. That's great. But from the 15, the risk-reward is just not there. It's so risky to get 15 yards on a fake. Well, you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but let's go back to old reliable. Kick the ball through the place. Get off my lawn. That's darn right. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And not the first time that they're coming back out off of a turnover, but the last one really hurt Charles with that pick six. And it feels like the whole team's infected right now, doesn't it? It's not just been one person. It's kind of been a group effort where the mistakes have happened. Can they put that aside, kind of start over, and put together a nice drive? And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Hassan Reddick. I'm not...
NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Highmark Stadium in upstate New York. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. tight end and he'll be upended at the 28 yard line just a three yard gain there not a big run on the first play of the drive but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play sometimes you're just trying to settle in get your guys a little bit of contact and get things moving there's Stephon Diggs for the catch on the slam well, that'll get them to first down as they get nine yards out of that quick slant. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. They go right back to Singletary. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Back-to-back -back four yard runs. Now look, if they just do that all the way downfield, ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. They'll run it, here's Cook. And he's gonna have the first down yardage to the 35. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Chances are good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Allen going to throw. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he'll be brought down at the 27. So play number ten now coming. It's been a long opening drive, but this is third down. Back to the ground, Cook. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. run again on first down cook it was tj edwards who brought him down here's second and nine just a yard on that last run allen now looks to throw throw left side complete that's cook and he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18 yard line allen from the gun on third down and that is caught touchdown buffalo Gabriel Davis, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he'll be out of bounds here, a yard shy of the 25 of the 24. Run this 
Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 24. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. That's the linebacker, Matt Milano, getting up and stopping him for a loss. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Now on second and 13. Hurts. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Charles already trailing by a touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drop? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing his hurts. Looking for A.J. Brown again, and he's got it again. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. Hurts sets up to throw it. This will be caught by Brown. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off a big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. On first and 10, it's Sanders. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Good, strong, explosive run that started inside, which means you've got to control those defensive linemen, the defensive tackles, the nose guards. Those guys have to be controlled. How about the offensive line, the job they just did? Yeah, key that A-gap usually on those runs, right? That's where it all starts because everyone wants to kind of control that area. It disrupts things from the defensive side and the offensive side. As we just saw, it opens up possibilities. On second down and four, Hurts. And that's incomplete. I don't see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Quez Watkins, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Eagles are an extra point away from drawing level. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. McKenzie now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive. <laughs> they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. Throwing on first down is Allen. Dancing to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep left side. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw.
To throw on second and ten. Allen steps away to his left. Now he'll let it go deep down the left sideline. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they have to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Here's Cook again. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Allen's throw is complete, and the tackle going to be made at the 38. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Cook up the gut. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. And he'll be brought down at the 27. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's McKenzie. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. They'll come up now on second and a yard. Now Allen. And he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. From 17 yards out, and the Bills will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Pulls it in at the 13. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. With this slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Hurts a handoff to Sanders, and he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. They'll throw now on the final play. He's going deep for Brown. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde, and he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. We welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. This is taken just shy of the 10, and he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. 
But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. Well, I certainly think that we're seeing a big reason why this team has struggled to put points on the board so far because too many of their drives have ended in turnovers already, and we still have almost a full half of football yet to play. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. I'll give them credit winning that first snap and forcing an incompletion. They're hoping that'll deflate the offense a little bit after they took the field charged up after taking over after a turnover. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Here's Allen. And this is taken in at the five. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. Give him 32 on the play. And they run here with Singletary. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. Singletary again. And he takes it in across the chalk for a Bills touchdown. Devin Singletary punching it in from a yard away. And the Bills go up by two touchdowns. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Extra point by Bass. Up and good.